AITA for ordering pizza even though we had dinner reservations? We were supposed to go out with my family for dinner but I was craving pizza all day and I was hungry so I asked my husband if he would buy me some. We ordered pizza at 5.45 p.m. and we had dinner reservations for 8.30 p.m. When the pizza arrived, everybody wanted some but my sister was upset because she wanted to go to the restaurant so she refused to eat any. Nobody wanted to go out after they had eaten the pizza because they were full so my dad told my husband he should cancel our reservation. My sister is blaming me for us not going to the restaurant and has accused me of making everything about myself. My parents have tried to speak to her and my dad told her I was pregnant so I needed to eat when I was hungry but it's only made her more angry with me. It's difficult to get a reservation at the restaurant we were supposed to go to so I understand why she was initially upset we never went as she was excited to go. However, my husband knows the owner and has promised he would make another reservation before we went home. But my sister doesn't want me to be invited as she thinks I'll ruin it again which I think is an overreaction. AITA? Yes. YTA you put your craving above plans that had previously been made. You could have had a snack to tide you over instead of ordering a whole other meal. ETA. I can see why your sister would not want you included in future plans. YTA easily. If you were hungry, have a snack. Why did you need to order a whole pizza in front of everyone? YTA. What you did was really uncool. You could have just eaten a snack. Instead you ordered enough pizza to feed everyone even though you had dinner reservations. I was pregnant so I needed to eat when I was hungry. This is the part that makes me say YTA. Sure, you are pregnant, and you were hungry. There are thousands things in your fridge, pantry that you could have eaten without spoiling your appetite. YTA. You could have gotten a single slice or a calzone, personal pan pizza if you were craving pizza. I'd be pissed if I were your sister. 2. YTA X10. Pregnant or not doesn't give you license to make it all about you. You ruined the evening. YTA. There were surely other options for you to eat something. Beyond, let me order enough pizza for everyone. Two hours before our dinner reservation. YTA and your husband too. You wanted pizza so your husband should have gotten you a very small pizza that no one else ate. How much pizza did he order that everyone ate enough to be full? Y'all were jerks to your sister. YTA you set the wheels in motion that ruined the plans. I am not sure how one person having a craving leads to an entire family being full of pizza. But apparently that is what happened. If the intention was to feed the craving, then get a personal pan, go somewhere to get a slice, etc. YTA YTA you could have had a snack or something rather than cancel a hard to get reservation. YTA If you're hungry but have dinner plans, eat a freaking snack. My kids, who are 10 and 5, even understand this without it being explained to them. YTA. 2 13 inches pizzas is not a snack. It's a meal for multiple people. Yes, your family had a choice in eating it or not. But it's a bit of an imbalanced choice because there's plentiful hot pizza sitting there now at a normal dinner time with a few hours before dinner reservations. I don't blame your sister for being upset when y'all had arranged this difficult to acquire family dinner reservation that she was excited for and then you turned it into family pizza night at home at the last second. I think you should have ordered a small personal pizza or found another snack. If you were craving it all day why did you not get it at lunchtime? Or go out and eat pizza?
or have it tomorrow? Ordering food just before you go to a restaurant is just silly. I've had three kids and I love food way too much. But you honestly can just eat normally. Being pregnant is absolutely no excuse for being rude. You don't need to have a whole meal before your proper meal. You just wanted to and didn't care about the family's dinner plans. Can you really not see why your sister is upset? Perhaps she had been craving this restaurant and had been looking forward to the food and being with the family. YTA. Having a snack when hungry is fine. Pregnant or not, ordering a full meal to share when you knew there were set plans to go to a restaurant is what makes YTA. Info. Why did you order enough pizza for an entire family to gorge themselves on? Do you often do things to undermine your sister? Do you often use your pregnancy as an excuse for bad behavior? YTA. You absolutely made it about yourself. And you are still doing so. You had reservations at a difficult to attend place and in getting the pizza, you clearly made a second dinner and ordered enough for everyone to eat. Sabotaging the previous plans. If you don't want to go, say so before the evening of the dinner. Flaking out two hours before you head out to an exclusive location reservation is pretty assholish. If you need a snack to tide you over while pregnant, ordering pizzas is clearly not appropriate in this scenario. Something small and, frankly, healthier for you and your child could have tided you over. Edit edition. Also, as many below have pointed out, if this place is that hard to get into you've essentially wasted both your chance, someone else's chance for that table, and the restaurant's limited space, which, not great. What you did here was ruining previous plans in a petty, undermining way and your lack of forthrightness with it makes you an asshole in this situation. YTA. Way to hijack the whole evening. YTA being pregnant isn't an excuse to ruin plans your sister was clearly excited about and looking forward to. Your husband should have taken you to get a slice instead of ordering a whole pizza. YTA do you guys normally eat dinner at 830? If you were hungry, eat a snack at home to tie you over. If you enjoyed this video. Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.